Hey, what's up guys? So I'm here to talk to you guys about the key card uh, in this next format, especially if you get to go first. Now we all know in Yu-Gi-Oh! going first is already a superior advantage in the game, but you know, there's a lot of budget decks at the moment that can't really throw out anything that first turn that can like hurt your opponent. I mean, off the top of my head, uh, Fire Fist, what's your best first turn that can stun your opponent? Maybe Rabbit into Sabersaurus if you're playing that build, uh, or I mean, you can go Tiger King, but essentially you can't stun your opponent. Tiger King can only stun uh, your opponent when they have cards on the field and like a first turn shockmaster still triumphs over pretty much everything in the game and there's a lot of decks that can really utilize this card and there's so many cards that allow us to just xyz summon really fast in the game and if you're a budget player hey this might be a way for you to absolutely dominate some of the tier one decks uh this upcoming format so let's go over some great cards that you can use to bring out the almighty Shockmaster. Plus he's light, which makes it awesome if you're playing uh, anything that runs, uh, you know, Honest, you need BLS. Man, he's a pretty good card. But anyways, uh, Tin Goldfish, it just got uh, printed in Hidden Arsenal 7. And, uh, you know, Heroes, I've seen a hero build that was playing this, and it was actually pretty cool. Um, so uh, if you guys didn't know, Tin Goldfish came out Hidden Arsenal 7, and when it's normal summon, you can special summon one level 4 monster from your hand. So that allows you to special summon Stratos. And remember, Stratos gets his effect when he's normal or special. So if you happen to have, you know, uh, just 10 goldfish and like a reinforcement of the army, you can go BAM! Reinforcement of the army for Stratos. Goldfish, Stratos, Search Bowman, Set Everything, Shockmaster, Call Effects, you've essentially just beat Elemental Dragons. You've essentially just beat Mermails. Uh, if you play against Dark World, if you play against uh, Spellbooks, you go Spells, and basically you have three turns to just do as much damage as possible, and probably just win the game simply uh, by that. Um, there's also Photon Thrasher, what's a light, goes going back to the light and dark. Plus he's a warrior, works fantastic in hero builds. Also there's uh, Kage to Kage, um, which this card is actually funny. If you guys didn't know, in uh, Japan, this card is actually called Shadow Lizard, but over here it's called Kage to Kage. They like, they trolled us with the, uh, the spelling of it. But anyways, um, when you normal summon a level 4 monster, you can special summon it from your hand. It can't be used as synchro material, but hey. We're not going for Synchros, we're going for Shockmaster, we're going for Victory here, so um, if there's any other cards that you guys think that I left out that are great, you know, splashable cards that you can just go for quick XYZ plays, uh, let me know in the comment section below. I mean, heck, you can even run Double Summon in Gadgets if you want, uh, with like maybe like the Tin Goldfish, but... Um, yeah, that said, I mean, Tin Goldfish plus Gadget plus Double Summon equals shenanigans when you have Girga X. Like, you can just, you can throw out, uh, you know, two Girga X's first turn. That's pretty dirty. But uh, I would suggest making Shockmaster if you know your opponent is playing, uh, you know, one of the decks, like I mentioned, one of, like, the Mermails, the Elemental Dragons, Dark Worlds, um, Spellbooks, you know. Shockmaster just beats all, all those decks, and he does it so convincingly. You basically have a free turn to just whack your opponent, and you could definitely uh, win from that. Um, but yeah, like I said, if there's any other great level 4s that I didn't mention, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, I mean, Samurai's actually uh, can get out um, Shockmaster pretty easy as well, especially if you start splashing in these um, and you happen to have a, um, a gateway on the field, then yeah, you can pretty much do it like guaranteed because you know you can just search out all those keys on. But yeah, I think Shockmaster is a really good card, so if you're looking to play this next format and you want to absolutely troll your opponent, well, it's not necessarily trolling, it's more like absolutely dominating them and making them look like they can't do anything because they literally can't do anything because Shockmaster says, nope, not gonna happen. But uh, a lot of these high tier decks, they just don't play any traps. Like um, Spellbooks, for example, they only play like Threatening Roar. Even the OCG, they play Wabaku. Uh, I don't know why they don't like the Threatening Roar, they prefer the Wabakus. Um, but yeah, there are situations where Wabaku can be better than Threatening Roar, but yeah, like I said, uh, Shockmaster is going to be a key card, especially if you get to go first. A lot of decks can utilize the cards I mentioned. Uh, but yeah, Shockmaster is going to be an amazing card, so uh, I suggest if you guys uh, want, you can definitely try to uh, incorporate some of these cards into your decks that already have like level 4 monsters. And if you get to go first and you can throw out a Shockmaster, you can definitely secure victory uh, in those games. But uh, yeah, Shockmaster did get a reprint, so he's relatively easy to come by anyway, so it's not like Shockmaster is going to go open price too much. But anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Asian Eyes, signing out.